In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a loading bar like this one. Uh, before you start this tutorial, you will need to download um, a script foo. Um, I will leave a link in the, in the description um, to where you can download it. So to start this, go ahead and open up a new image. And I'm going to change the color of my background, so I'm going to grab my bucket fill tool and change my foreground color to a dark gray. Um, and I'm going to paint that in. And now I'm going to go to filters, noise, HSV noise. My settings are holdness 3, hue 20, saturation 0, value 15. And now I'm going to make a new layer. And you can do that by pressing the new layer icon at the bottom of your uh, layers window. And I'm going to grab my blend or gradient tool. I'm going to change my foreground color to white. And then I'm going to select the gradient FG to transparent. And then I'm going to change my shape to radial. And then I'm just going to click and drag down from the top of my document. And then I'm going to go over to my layers window again and just change my layer mode to overlay. And you can kind of play around with that. And then create another new layer and grab your rectangular selection tool. And then in your settings, select rounded corners. And I have my radius set to 80, but this can vary depending on the size of your image. Uh, so you might need to play around with that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make a selection on my layer. And now grab your uh, paint bucket tool and paint that in white. And then go to select none. And then change that layer mode to overlay as well. And now what you'll need to do is go up, is you will need to have the script foo downloaded for this. Um, so go to script foo, layer effects, and inner shadow. Make sure the color is black. And opacity, I'm just going to uh, bump that up to 100. And then you might need to play around with these settings as well, depending on the size of your image. But offset distance, I'm going to change to 3, and size, I will change to 4. And now I'm going to go ahead and rename these layers. And drop back down to your bar layer. Um, and go to script foo layer effects, and this time go to stroke. Um, color black, opacity 100, blending mode normal, size 1, and position 15. And again, this might change depending on the size of your image. Now drop back down to your bar layer and go to script foo layer effects, drop shadow. Change the color to white and um, I'm going to change the size to 2 and offset distance to about 1. And then I'm going to check layer knocks out drop shadow. You might need to play around with some of these settings. Uh, mostly just the size and the offset distance. And now I'm just going to go in my layers window and I'm going to lower the opacity to around 30-ish. And now I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm just going to name it bar fill. And I'm going to move that right above the bar layer. So make sure that the inner shadow and the stroke layer are on top of that. Now right click on your bar layer and select alpha 2 selection. And then go back to your bar fill layer and grab your gradient tool and select the gradient called uh, pastel, pastel rainbow and change the shape to linear. Um, you can kind of change what the gradient is. I'm just using this for now. Um, but you can always select your own colors. And then I'm just going to stroke across like so. And now go to select, none. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm just going to name this button and move this layer above everything. And now grab your ellipse select tool and I'm going to check the fixed box and make sure it's on aspect ratio and for aspect ratio I'm doing one to one. And now I'm just going to make a circle selection and the fixed aspect ratio will make sure that it is a perfect circle. And I'm just going to make a circle selection um, and I'm just going to move it somewhere down over here. And now I'm going to grab my gradient tool and change your gradient to brushed aluminum. And change the shape to conical. And now I'm just going to click in the, about the middle of the circle and then drag out. And you might want to play around with that a little bit. And then go to select none. And now what I'm going to do is go to script foo layer effects and make sure you have your button layer selected. And I'm going to select drop shadow, change your color to black, and um, I'm going to change my size to about 10. Again, this depends on your um, on the size of your image. And offset angle I'm going to change to 90 and offset distance I'm going to change to 3. And now what I'm going to do is go back to my button layer and go to script foo layer effects inner shadow. I'm going to change my color to white and I'm going to change my size to 2 and my offset distance to 2. And then select OK. And that just gives it um, a bit of an edge right there. Now I'm going to drop back down to my bar fill layer. And I'm going to grab my rectangular selection tool and I'm just going to select everything from uh, the button and then to the right of that. And now you can just delete all of that. Um, for some reason on the Mac the delete key doesn't delete anything. Um, so I'm just going to use my eraser tool and erase all of that. And then you can go to select none. And now what I'm going to do is make sure you have your bar fill layer selected and go to script foo layer effects outer glow. Um, I changed my color to this uh, bluish color. You can, you know, choose whatever color you'd like. Um, the HTML notation is 4BCEFF. -F. And then size is 3 and check the layer knocks out outer glow box. And then select OK. And now I'm just going to layer uh, lower the opacity of that a bit to around 30. And you're done. Uh, so that's, or actually, um, if you'd like, you can also, I'm going to create another new layer above the, right above the bar fill layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the bar fill layer and select alpha to selection. And I'm just going to go back to that new layer I just created and grab your paint bucket tool. And under fill type, select pattern fill. And then click on that box and select the fine stripes um, pattern. It's a default pattern. And then go ahead and paint that in. And then you can change your um, layer mode to overlay. And then you can select none. And that just gives your loading bar part a bit of a texture. And there you go, you've created your very own loading bar. So anyway, I hope I will probably be making tutorials around once a month now. Um, so uh, follow me on Twitter for news and whatnot. Probably nothing too exciting going on there. 